Start the goddamn video. I'll, I'll never be ready. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. I'm back, man. I got a couple Ugly people. Hell in the intro. Ugly as hell. Super. Look at his face right now. Zoom in on his face. Hello, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K23 gameplay and more. <laughs> Uh, we would like to welcome you guys to a cell squad affair. And today we're here to you talk about ugly as hell. Bro, can you start this shit, bro? <laughs> NBA 2K23's gameplay has been a bevy of new improvements to complement any skill set. Flex on the rim, finesse your way to the rack, and experience more authentic animations. You know what that tell me, 2K? That tell me that all that slashing that y'all done broke for the last couple years, y'all think y'all just about to bring that back like ain't nothing happened? But I feel you, though. So let's talk about this real quick. They upgraded the pro stick. They they obviously focusing on offensive gameplay around slashing, attacking the basket. And we got these new flex on the rim animations, whereas though Ken will never be able to dunk again. I'm sorry, Ken, you, you are really going to have to retire. Have you guys heard about the upgraded pro stick? Yeah. Yes. yes. So I think a lot of people, when you play the game, and you go to dunk, and yet your player do a, a stupid ass animation to get you set up to get blocked. People always ask if they can have more control over the actual animations that they pick. So this is supposed to be helpful for that. And I do want to say something because people always do this. Anything that we say sounds like an improvement is if it's implemented right. If it's not, disregard whatever you heard in this video. But I do like that. My question is, do they have one for standing dunks? That doesn't look like it to me. Um, so from what I understand, up, up is a flashy two hand dunk driving. I don't uh -huh. know about standing. You know what I'm saying? Mike Wayne was talking about on Twitter that windmills and all these flashy type of dunks are going to be darn near unblockable if you have a high dunk rating. So I, I do not know. All I know is what's going to happen when somebody make a mistake and pump fake every time. Because huh? what I'm trying to understand is this this kind of reminds me of a uh, Mortal Kombat, like back in the day Mortal Kombat though. Like why are we hitting up up to do a flashy two hand dunk on a, on a pro stick? That's that's the easiest. That's people people probably want to do those the most. So they made those the easiest button combo. Okay. You look so, the other one. so will we be using the analog to shoot anymore? What happens when you're not in the area to dunk the ball and your player does something crazy? That's a good question. I what? mean, it's going to be control based. So obviously people will need to change their settings depending on how they want to play the game. So yeah, I guess some people won't be uh, using the shot, the um, analog to shoot. I don't know. And don't also know. to... This to, doesn't say if it's left or right analog though. But, I don't want to assume. But think about it like this, right? Well, it, it can only be right analog. Am I correct? Because you move with your left. Yeah, that's true. So unless there's a modifier button, what happened when somebody is dribbling and they make a mistake and maybe you want to do a double cross? Is the double cross no longer up on a, the uh, analog stick anymore? Yeah, but you're, you're going to probably have to get a good bit of momentum before you could do that, though. Okay. I don't think somebody's going to be dribbling and just try to go for a flashy dunk. You're going to have to have momentum behind you and probably be driving towards the rim. Or again, if it's implemented properly, you won't see people bursting out of stand and dribble animations into flashy dunks. Because I am concerned about that. So here's my question. What happens when a player is driving to the basket and they know somebody's going to try to jump at them and they try to maybe do a between the legs cross or a cross between the legs to keep the momentum going? They can't do that. Why? Uh, what I mean is... you. I mean, you have more control over the type of dunk, but you can't just pick your dunk unless you do that stuff everybody did with the quick drops and the um and the other one this mm -hmm. year. Um, people may do that though. People may see. I don't even know why you said that. See, passing around the cheese. Look at you. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. But all all I'm saying is I do understand what 2K is trying to do here, but I really need to get my hands on it because right now it does not make clear cut sense to me. Like 
flicking up up on a on a joystick uh, i just can't fathom it i don't know what other controls would be implemented as far as like dribble controls and shooting controls but like if a person is inside like the, the limitless takeoff range it's gonna be a lot of fuckery going on on, on the first week of the game it's but gonna they still have the meter so it should be uh I hope, hopefully they fix that meter lag though that's why people were incensed about that meter that that lag when that meter and that inconsistency was crazy now now look this is this is why i want to um basically keep going on this shakedown said that he tried to do a flashy dunk three to four times and couldn't get it mike wayne got it done immediately so it's scary to me to hear that a person who is playing that been playing this franchise for two decades plus now can't do a flashy dunk in a game that scares I mean, me bro he had a couple hours on the game mike's mike and them been designing the game the whole time so they have hundreds of hours of you know play time on the game oh my god maybe oh, maybe shit. yeah that, <laughs> no, that, that crack was crazy i'm sick my bad I'm sick. no i don't give you a pass man my but, bad but the but the but we are talking about a veteran gamer of the 2k franchise that couldn't do a flashy dunk but yeah, i will say yeah, but, 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 but i will but, say but we, we we can't we can't do that because it's a completely new mechanic even if it's on a game that we play for a long time this is a completely new mechanic. It's going to take anybody a minute to, to learn something. And it should. And, that, and, 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 and also, he wasn't informed on how to do it. He didn't, like, we know up, down, down is how to do a, a rim hanging skill dunk. Up or up, up is how you do a flashy. We know how to do it now. He had no clue. They didn't tell him, hey, yo, hit up, up on the right stick, and that's how you do it. I, I guarantee you. you I, gu- I guarantee you they don't to do it, bro. Okay, so, I, so, you t- so, so what you're telling me is that Shakedown knew exactly how to trigger a flashy dunk and couldn't do it. That what you're saying? I'm telling you, bro. It had to be that something. That sounds crazy. All right. We, we going, you know what? We're going to see when the game come out. Yeah, I mean, uh, if anybody didn't see these images or videos on Twitter or whatever, I guess I could play them here for you now. You know what I'm saying? I can't make them full screen. You're just going to have to be happy with looking at Zion hang on a rim, obviously. And oh, yeah, yeah, that, that Reef song was that's, that's lit. I ain't going to lie. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me chill. Let me chill. All right. So basically, we off that. Finessing your way to the rack. Did, so did y'all see this, this uh, Devin Booker layup? Mm-mm. Yes, okay. I did. I played. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and play it for Chase. Heavily contested layup. High off the glass, in right now yeah. we we always have complained in the last three years about Curry's layup, right? Now, yeah. all I saw in the comments of when I tweeted this was people with the the face palm, like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be something that we can't stop." Yet another thing that offense gets that nobody will be able to stop on defense. But we have to realize the person that's defending him right now is trash. Isn't- Tra- I understand he might be trash, but he's still in position to play good defense. It's a, but it's a quick scoop. It makes is sense, it though. Yes, that's what that is. Play it. Hit hey, play it one more time. It's a quick scoop layup. That's exactly what that is. That's he scooped it around him. Man, that, that's that's a tough shot. Yes, it is. And now, it is a tough shot, but that's a scoop layup. That's the only way. That's the only way he can score in that scenario. I, I'm. A, I want to say something. Layups yes. have been absolute trash. For the last yes. two years. Yes. So much so that the blocking at the beginning of 22 was so absurd that, like, if you went for a layup, you knew it wasn't going in, you was going to get blocked. Now, I'm not saying I want people making contested layups and all this, because I don't. But I do want people to be able to actually have the ability to make layups. There's no reason that layups were harder than dunks. That was crazy. That's true. That's true. But what I do feel as... Smaller players are going to have a, a better chance at going up against the opposition as far as 1v1 situation. I've, if a, a big come over on some health defense and, and spike that joint, that's not my issue. That's not my problem. Y'all just going to have to deal with that. But as far as like one-on-one situations, I feel like now guards are going to be able to lay up better over other guards, if that makes any sense. Unless they're like the bigger guards, 6'5", you know what I mean, and up. You feel me? And out. Now, uh, combined memorizing skill, memorizing skill moves. Before, before we get past that, I just want to, re- I just want to point out something that they put uh, in there. Basically, okay. if you have a bigger build and you have a guard that's right of your hip, you can now move him out of the way. Finally, 
It says in the in the in the, uh, in the, in the basically the first sentence right there underneath the video. Yeah, for bigger, stronger players, you also experience a lot of new contact layup content that probably shows what should happen when players like Giannis plow through everyone in their path. And we, and we saw that in the uh, the trailer, the last video we did, right, Ranch? When mm -hmm. he pushed, uh, who was that? When he just moved him out the way. Yeah, he pushed Pete. I think PJ Tucker, Tucker out the way. Yeah, PJ Tucker. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Slasher, stand up, bro. Hey, y'all. Hey, I didn't take cool. out the double meter, but y'all got some stuff y'all can use. Now, um, I don't really want to read all this, but um, what I do see is um, another major dribbling change is the introduction of attacking size ups. Um, one of the things they wanted to improve with dribbling is 2K was that while the size of moves look cool, they weren't very useful, which, of course, none of us really use. We really just use that signature size up, maybe the first move out of that size up to speed boost. You know what I mean? That's the only time that we used our size up is to go ahead and speed boost out of that. So hopefully these attacking size ups do something for those uh, bigger guards that want to attack the room against smaller defenders. To, to me, that's not the big news. The big news to me is that that paragraph right below that video. Oh, the adrenaline boost. You want to read that? Oh, to oh, them? oh yeah, we we just gonna get into that. We, we gonna get into that. Go ahead. <laughs> but I still gotta play the Steph Curry clip, and okay. also, basically, what they're saying is now you can chain together moves a little bit smoother with just rocking the right stick back and forth. And they have a clip of Steph Curry doing that. So uh, th this okay. is they, just, this yeah, it ain't it ain't nothing. Oh dribbling. Great, okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah, now, see, yeah. I don't the thing about whenever it's dribble news, bro, like it's it's always presented kind of the same way, regardless of the system. So it's mm -hmm. never a surprise when I see like we have all new ways that you could XYZ. But this next thing, people are gonna be mad as hell. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the thing. While it's fun to clown your opponents with the flurry of flashy dribbles, we do not encourage players to dribble the entire shot clock out while their teammates fall asleep. Energy will deplete much quicker when spamming too many moves together. That's so it's, <laughs> every year, that's so it's important to be efficient and not play with your food too long. There's a long list of size ups to learn on paper, but they're very simple and feel natural in practice. Jump into 2KU freestyle practice to play around with different sticks, uh, throwing timings, and you'll get the hang of it for a few minutes. So, of course, the 2KU is coming back. And I'm guessing that's what they're going to be dropping in maybe like that little that little demo play where it's like 5v5 plus 2KU. You know what I'm saying? They, they probably going to drop that probably, what, a week and a half, two weeks before the game come on maybe? See? So that's that's probably like demo confirmed, but not not like a my career demo where you can create your player and look through the builder system. I think it's going to be the same thing that has been for the last like year and a half, two years. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, 2K, you, you, and you play 5v5. Have fun. Enjoy. Um, let's see. Adrenaline boost. So this is what you was talking about. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna play the video first because um when I put this video out on Twitter, people was livid. Some oh, of the dribble heads was like, yo, I'm I'm not feeling this, and some of the other people was like, thank God. And I'm on the fence about it. I'm like, bro, they grabbed Lonzo to showcase this. Not one of the elite dribblers in the league. They grabbed Lonzo for this. So let's let's go ahead and look at this. They're gonna increase. They're, they're going to probably increase the adrenaline, um, the, the amount. Cause I think it said three times. Mm -hmm. They're going to probably increase that, bro. I can't, I can't see them leaving that like that the whole year. I mean, but think about it. This see, is, this is not, but ball. you got to remember, you got to remember, it's not three dribbles. It's well, three it's, burst moves. Yeah, yeah, three burst moves. Yeah. So there's, there's, and realistically, there's no reason why you should be doing more than three burst moves. I understand that, but. For the way 2K has been played for how many years in a row, that's what people are used to. And I'm not, I'm not saying like I don't, I'm not interested in the change. I'm just saying uh, for people to ISO and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be kind of, kind of tough. And I'm gonna say this: all y'all dudes on 21 that was in a box the whole time and they bumping you over and over in the park, and then you run back to the three and keep restarting it. That shit, nah, that, nah, that shit was trash, bro. They just kept going back to the three point line because they was boxed and trying to restart a uh, quick first step. Please. Oh, God. Oh, God, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> but that look, this looks like this is to negate those type of players. 
You know what I mean? They're, this is what they're going to stop. Boosts are consumed every time you perform a hard go or explosive mm. sprint launch. Once your three boosts are gone, you'll notice that your speed and acceleration decrease significantly for the remainder of the position. Oh my God. So even if you kick the ball out and you go maybe sit corner and try to get some energy back, you don't have those boosts anymore. Mm. As with dribble combos, it's important to play smart basketball and be efficient with your movement rather than zigzagging back and forth aimlessly trying to get around the defense. They're gonna, they're gonna there's, there's no more resets. There's no more resets. They're, they're going. I'm telling. you, There's no way that they're going to leave it like that the whole year. I'm not saying they're going to take it out, but three boosts. I think they're going to like right before Christmas or something like that. They're going to maybe make it four or five or I don't know if there's maybe badges in the game that help with that. I don't know. I think they're going to do something. Though. Uh, honestly, I, you know, I'm not going to say I'm scared. I'm thinking that the LeBron, the Giannis, the KD, the the glitch six nines, the glitch six sevens, like all of those lines of bills that have worked in 21 and 22. I don't think that they're going to show up, bro. This might be the only time where we might get back to a traditional heights and build sets because you may need more than just two ball handlers on the team you might need three now carter you've been playing 2k for how long i've been playing 2k for a long time i know you know damn well but the community gonna figure out a way regardless I mean, of, of how the game is structured they're going to figure out uh, figure out a workaround they always do right but what i'm saying to you is that workaround may be more ball handlers on the team that's what i'm saying to you like I wouldn't for, that. for instance we'll talk about the jump shots and, and 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 dribble moves and stuff like that as far as the heights go in a minute but as of i just want to say one thing before we even get into this 2k how fucking dare you <laughs> how dare you go back to that go back to that uh to the to the, to the other joint real quick okay where is it let me see if i can see it the first major, I don't know if you read this. I'm trying mm -hmm. to fix something. So uh, uh, I the read first it, but major change. You know, I, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, okay. Go the crazy. first major change is the addition of shooting attributes to the session of signature jump shots. Animations have been more or less aesthetic, but functionally the same. Okay, how fucking dare you? How dare you say that jump shots function the same way? Just, when we have people, when we have websites dedicated Showing people what jump shots are better than what they lied to the the community. It didn't. Now it didn't. They they said that they were functionally the same, and then tried to use that as an excuse to then switch to the other slide, please. <clears throat> to then make it seem like their whole plan all along was to make certain jump shots better than other bitch. No, it wasn't. This is this is crazy. The one thing I'm not mad at this per se. The one thing I'm scared of. Is that defensive immunity? Mm. That's gonna kill it. That's gonna kill it. If you can find yourself a jump shot that has A plus defensive immunity plus a A minus or A plus release speed, you good. Early right, early right now, Kevin Love. That wasn't like, in the game already. Kevin Love looks like one of the better jump shots for uh for eighties. How, how do we know that though? How do we know that this? I mean, I don't know. How do we know that this is another thing that was in a game code that is now public information, and that they decided to kind of scale a little bit bigger? Defensive immunity. I've seen videos on YouTube from a couple really good YouTube channels mm -hmm. where they show challenge um, percentages and all that kind of stuff based on the jump shot. So I don't know if that's the same with defensive immunity, but it kind of would appear that way. Okay, so let's do it like this. Name me three jump shots in the last four years that have been cash every year. Oh, the same jump shot every year? Na name me three. I can't. It's always an, it's Runky, always like two or three new shots every year. Name me name three. Name name three jump shots that have been cash in in the last three to four two Ks. Like every uh, year. Like every year. Ninety eight is the only one I can think of. Okay, I'm talking about Was a real person. Like I'm talking about a real. Um, I'm talking about a real person jump shot. Somebody's like their base. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, never. We'll never find that. Nah. We'll never find that. So, I don't have one. So you mean to tell me that Trey Young base ain't been crazy? This year? Because of the movements. 
No, yeah, but period, not the movies. Period, not not really. I didn't see people using that on twenty uh, on twenty one, bro. Yeah, people were who, not using Trey Young was, like that. Only people who use Trey Young are moving shots. Mm-hmm. All right, what jump shot was they using last year? In twenty one, right. mm-hmm. uh, uh, what's that? Ninety eight. What else? That's all I think. Um, I didn't really play it. I knew about base three, but it looked crazy, so they saw he sees me for using it. But what I else? don't. I don't really remember, bro. All right, so for the last three years, right, besides the numbered jump shots, people have been using Trey Young, D Wade. They also were using D Wade's another one, yeah. They were also D-Wade. using um, what the uh, his his um his name was just on a fucking uh what was it? Uh, it was one more. It was Trey Young, D Wade, and somebody else that they that a lot of people been using, um. Every single year. Some people still try to stick with the Kobe and, you know what I mean, trying to use their favorite player's base. But, dog, I'm telling you, Trey Young and D-Wade have been, like, right there in the sweet spot. Right below in the top five. Behind 98, you know what I mean, three. And, of course, the new ones that just dropped this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, D-Wade and Trey Young have been sound. So, if you look at Trey Young's fucking joint it say it's an a minus release speed a a plus timing impact and an a minus defensive immunity bro that shit is crazy you're you're saying that, 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 that release chart. height yeah that release yeah. height that release height is going to sell and i'll tell you why we're going to see it later but the way that they that they uh set up the description on badges hands up defense is going to be a lot more prevalent mm-hmm. in this in this year's 2k so if you think that you can like do a quick little dribble and try to jump over and then try to get a jump shot over somebody and somebody put their hands up, it's over with. That's yeah. my that's my opinion. That's my guess. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know shit to gain that out yet, but right. my guess is that's what's going to happen. And that's why that, that's why a shot like that you like that nigga jump. You can you can you can get over that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, and we we didn't we'll get to it in, in detail a little bit later on. But like, there's also been changes to mismatch expert. For the people that uh, are wondering, that it does not mm-hmm. help you with shooting uh, this time. Yeah, so. it helps you bring it down the big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Hands up will be good, but I think, of course, you know, Steph Curry, Kyrie, like, seeing their rating requirement for, like, having a mid-range or a three-point of that caliber to just have their jump shot, I'm trying to figure out what are they going to do for set 25, jump shot three. Like, what are they going to do for those? That's what scares me because when you put, when you put out a list like this, and these are supposed to be some of the best jump shots that people. I guess this this has to be analytical data that they have used as far as these are the jump shots that people have been using in the last couple of years, and these are some of the best players in the league right now. So this is why these people choose to use their jump shots over anybody else. You feel me? Like they have fucking Chris Mullen on the list. Of course, we know he's one of the best shooters in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. They have him on the list. So I'm guessing this is a my team thing, a my career thing, a play now thing. Like this is all of their analytical data with a list. So what is the jump shot creator going to look like? Well, fine. Well, it's, they're still going to probably do it based off your base. So your uppers probably won't matter um, for, for attributes or whatever that those stats are. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, man, but I am, I am concerned. One of, one of my complaints forever has been that jump shots should be kind of universal and it's cosmetic only the timing there should not be bigger timing windows on some shots over others all that does is make everybody feel as though that they need to use the same three or four shots and and it's just you have you know tens of thousands of combinations possible but everybody is settling for the same basis because if you don't use it you're at a disadvantage if you want to come in here with 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 al horford's jump shot yep and i and i am no uh, and and it's crazy because in the last four years, I could say I've been that test dummy. Even before they had the jump shot creator, I was using Rudy Gay. You know what I'm saying? I just like the way his uppers look. You know what I'm saying? When we went to 77, I still had Rudy mm-hmm. Gay uppers. When 98 came out and Ronchi told me to get on the wave, I still had Rudy Gay uppers. When set 25 came out, I still had Rudy Gay uppers. It's always been Rudy Gay uppers for me. So I know if I'm looking at this list right now and it's telling me I'm like, I would have to choose from one of these bases as a small and they probably like probably will have a cutoff list for like whatever bases are used for like the numbered ones. 
if I would have to choose from this list, bro, to be honest, I like I'm thinking like, bro, that that Michael Jordan joint, like the release speed is bad, but the time and impact and the defensive immunity plus the release height might be pretty well. It might be you know I'm saying it might it might go crazy. 77 might be back. Chase, you might mess around and get fouled more with jump shot 77 if, some, if somebody jump at you. Because I know that the release had on that bitch is an A plus. We don't we don't know. And I but before we move on, I just want to say one last thing. 2K. This information we have on this screen, is this going to be given to us? Because you all like to do this thing where we have to discover everything about how every badge works and all that on our own. You all don't really tell us what the the uh the percentage boost is for badge and all badges and all of that stuff. We gotta guess. So it's like, are y'all gonna give us like all the attributes in the game when i go to make my jump shot or pick a jump shot are you going is this going to be on there or is 2k labs or somebody gonna to have to find it now we have some tweets on um on the side that mike wayne was talking about the jump shot creator and the uh, shot meter uh, yes turning off the shot meter will increase your shot window still the way to go if you know your shot of course everybody knows that um a lot of sig jumpers have changed the biggest content refresh in years so i'm guessing they got a lot more mocaps i'm not sure if you guys remember tracy mcgrady did a mocap session with 2k so i'm guessing they went to a lot of the old heads that are still around you know what i mean still active in the league and stuff like that and got them rescanned. You know what I mean? Um, also, the custom shots you create will generate attributes um, and a shot rating requirement based on the components you use to build the shot. So I'm trying to figure out, like, is does that mean that when you create your player, obviously we see here, Stephen Curry needs a 96. When you go into the jump shot creator, will the jump shot creator be there next to the build or will we have to figure that out after we create our build to figure out what jump shots we want to use from last year or whatever the case may be? Because if Stephen Curry and, and Kyrie Irving have one of the best shots in the game and that's at a 96, does that mean that they're the cap or would there be jump shots out there that want you to have a 99? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot to ask. I mean, you're asking somebody to have a 99. That's kind of... <laughs> that's, I mean, that's crazy. That's the same, bro. All right, what we got? All right, moving on. Um, they, Of course, you know, the shot meters and all that. Facilitate the offense. For the playmakers out there, you'll find some new tools at your disposal. Um, the lead to basket pass makes it return to new gen so that it works the same the way as current gen. Allow you to simply press and hold triangle to get the receiver to cut to the basket and release the button to throw the pass. So that seems like okay, cool mechanic. Um, another alternative is a new spot up pass mechanic. If you press and hold B slash circle, they should have put circle first, punks. Um, the receiver you're pointing at with the left stick will perform a quick V or flare cut to get open on the perimeter. It's a very useful and quick hitting play to get an open look. Um, okay, this is all CPU AI, my career, uh, my team type stuff. Like this, this won't do nothing for us online at all. But I mean, I feel like that's dope actually because what what happens then is it'll make you slow the game down and try to actually use your teammates. But we gotta pray to God to hit these shots. But we'll talk about the AI stuff in a second. Um defensive gameplay. Ooh guys. Yo, I put I I, <laughs> I seen who did, who somebody tweeted or I think somebody said that NBA two K twenty two they focused on defense. And they did at the beginning of the year. And and then they, they just took everything away. Um square <laughs> button was nuts. It was crazy. All right. Um this year we created a system that evaluates the defensive player's contesting hand throughout a window of shooting motion. This larger sample set provides way more accurate results and helps line up the coverage numbers to what players expect based on what they see happening on screen. So I'm guessing if somebody put their hands up and they feel like they've been playing clamp up defense, they should get a 40 plus contested every single time. That's what they are saying, I'm guessing. Uh, on ball defense for the Florida game on ball defense movement and body ups received a major refresh with new content that is more accurate and depicts today's one on one player interactions. You'll also notice a new indicator on a ball handler when in guarding position. This is a new defensive shading mechanic. Okay, so they got another new mechanic. The three bars on the indicator represent three zones straight up, shade left, shade right. The zone the defender's in 
uh, is shown in red. If the ball handler attempts to attack a red lane, they'll get cut off, lose their dribble, or fumble the ball. So it's looking like home steals are coming back in full force. Uh, they've been a part of the game forever. Did they say anything about pass or uh, post defense on here? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep scrolling though. Um, it don't look like they did. N- nah, nah. Okay. But um, let's see. I, um, shot blocking. In all honesty. Okay, shot blocking has been refined quite a bit this year as well. With NBA 2K22, we made a huge effort to improve block targeting and give players the ability to deter any shot that comes up to the paint. For NBA 2K23, blocks have been tuned to a more realistic level, leading to much more predictable outcomes. That's probably what people getting dunked on. Um, with the right players making appropriate stops on the time and block attempts well, no more small guards pulling off LeBron James level chase down blocks like last year. You'll also notice a distinct improvement in ball security for good dunkers. So I'm guessing ball stripper has gotten a nerf if it's still in the game, as well as uh, the chase down artist, where a lot of the smaller guards will put their uh, their wingspan up all the way to get chase down artists. I'm guessing chase down artist has been tuned to where as though they won't be able to pull off those um, crazy uh, blocks off back scratchers and tomahawks and stuff like that. All right. Um, steel and ball strips. Ball strips are new improved this year with tons of new content and better coverage. So if you're a smaller defender, quick hands can be just as effective in slowing down slashers and bigs in the paint as good as a shot blocker. We've also added fell strip contact layups to make sure defenders' steel inputs are respected instead of getting ignored. And all, um, I don't know. I don't think I like that. Well, we've okay. So they just told us if you're a smaller guard, quick hands can be just as effective against bigs as it is with blocking. We was getting our ass whipped all 2K22. As a big, there was no respect there. When you put that ball on the ground, that shit's gone. Even mm-hmm. even a big who had. Um, unpluckable one. Get your ass whipped. So I really don't like that they're still basically saying like, as a big, you can't work in the paint. You can't work. You put that ball on the ground, it's your ass. But uh, I mean, maybe maybe they're gonna give us better animations. Maybe you know more more looks at it. I I don't know. I just I don't like that. But um, it, they they said I've seen some amazing 50-50 ball saves that would make Dennis Rodman and Alex Caruso proud. So maybe maybe more 50-50 animations, you know what I mean, stuff like that. But it say you'll see greatly improved sideline awareness during scramble plays. I, ho- I hope to see that. I hope to see that. I just read in this section coming up the Ooh. first two paragraphs. I'm not even worried about. I just read 2K just said that if you buy animations, it's shared across all your bills on that account. Thank mm-hmm. you. However, 2K, are y'all going to increase the cost of animations now to offset that? 2K, can we trust y'all to just do something like that out the kindness of your heart? Or y'all going to come over here and y'all going to get over on us? I got my eye on you. Just know that. Ain't no way. They giving us free animations across all builds. Anyway. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, current gen has a new builder closer to the next gen, by the way. Yes, yes. Um, we we gonna go over all that. <clears throat> but, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, like you said, Chase, you know, 2K is just trying to make things a little bit easier on us that create builds. Um, One thing that I want to know is, you know, and this is just a gameplay thing as far as quests go. Will all quests count to every single build? If we keep in all our animations that we buy and we got a, a library or locker full of all those animations or a vault or whatever, when we doing quests, can we win a game with a big and switch over to our guard and win a game and it all count to the same goal? Because, God damn it, I got tired of switching builds or playing or being restricted to one build for, let's say, the green sleeves and headbands I got. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, bro, winning a hundred games and 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 all that with one build, bro. 
Jesus. And, and quits didn't count to the quest goal. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. But uh let's 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 go ahead and you know what I mean. Um you still have complete control to build any type of player you want, but the new builder ensures that all builds, regardless of size or specialty, are fun and balanced. So uh-huh. what I'm guessing is there is a new builder for both. Maybe uh same iteration as next gens, but maybe a little bit better. A little bit more you know what? I'm gonna say this. 2K. If we're playing a basketball RPG, I need you guys to go do homework on what a RPG is. So, like Chase said, are we going to have control of our edge? We need full control. If if you say, I need a 96 rating for this jump shot, right? And it says that I need a 96 rating to get this badge. I need to know... If I got a badge that helps me shoot over defenders and somebody has a badge that says it's going to hurt people to shoot over you, I need to know what my Hall of Fame badge is compared to their Hall of Fame badge. Or vice versa, if they have a Hall of Fame badge and I have a gold badge, what is the, the you know what I mean, a give and take with that? Where's the balance? I want to know if I'm going to have a negative four to my shooting attribute if somebody can test me up to a certain point if i don't have hall of fame this or gold this i need to know all that juicy little information i want to know my tendencies man I just, I just, you always bring that up tendencies don't matter if you're controlling the player man yes it do bro bro listen I, listen i know for sure when me and stacks do the same move he always draw a foul I don't draw a foul. There's and an attribute I, and for that, though. There is. What, what attribute? There's an, absolute, there's an attribute for draw a foul, bro. What? I swear to God, there's an attribute for that. Where? You didn't know this? Where? Don't make me do this, bro. I uninstalled 2K22 the other day, bro. Are you serious? I promise you. We. The thing is, you can't see that unless you're playing in the other modes. If you're in franchise, if you're in my team, I believe, if you're in my gym or my league and all that kind of stuff. If you go, anybody, I challenge you, if, you, if you're if you in a game, uh, pause the game, go to your stats, go to your attributes and scroll down because when we make our builds, that's not all the attributes your player has. There's other stuff that uh, we can't actually change, but the game has it in the game, bro. There is a, there's definitely a draw foul uh, thing. So, I, I bet so, you. So, I, so Chase, I'm gonna say it again. Mm-hmm. I would like control. What do you mean? So if uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you the example again, if if Stax Montana drives to the basket in wreck, he is more prone to getting a foul call than I am. I have the answer. You ready? Oh God. Okay, Stax is like that. You not man. Next. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. We can't don't love <clears throat> us like that. We can't play how other people play. It never works. We suck. Now you, you, you know what? Moving on, because we ain't going to argue about this. New gen badge system! You guys ready? They have a masher badge, 2K. Why do y'all do this? Big masher. Why do y'all... Why do y'all... Big why mash. do y'all do this, 2K? <laughs> because why? they troll us, bro! That, that, that's literally trolling us. Uh, it's literally all it's for is to troll it. Bro, um, everything that they do is to... Listen, I made a video about if 2K decided to put these badges in 2K23, it would ruin the game. You know what they did? They said, you know what? We're going to play around. Let's take, a, let's take a couple of them little gems and sprinkle them around and see, see who see what. And look at Raunchy. Say it again, Raunchy. Wait, say it again? See? Look, he ain't even hit me. Joke's over. Moving on. <laughs> I definitely did not hear you. He couldn't even say Big Masher one time for me. One, one last time. No, I couldn't, man. All right. But uh, so Slithery makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. Masher, of course. Aerial Wizard. Ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. So they have taken putback uh, boss and... Uh, alley oop finisher and combine them into something called aerial wizard. What do you guys think? Think. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. 
considering how they're changing the, uh the how the badges work in terms of tiers mm -hmm. i kind of like that they they're, they're uh there's not so many badges and they're starting to group up badges and that makes sense when they're grouped you know what i'm saying right um also they introduced something called core badges i'm not sure if y'all seen that but yeah, um, four unique badge slots, one in each attribute category that can be filled with badges that don't count towards your badge points. That's that's really dope. What do you guys think? I'll see it when it happens. Oh. Skeptical. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is, is this no, slithery no. finisher going to be fancy footwork again? Now, what do you guys think about the challenge that they put? It says each badge will have a challenge requirement that once met will allow the badge to be placed into a core badge slot. What, do think what are that? the badges? Are they on here? I, Hopefully I, when I, you scroll down, we can see them because we don't know what they are. It doesn't help us. I mean, I think I think this might be them. No, those are not core badges, man. I mean, you sure? I hope not. No, no. Let me see. All right. So it said this year we're moving to a tiered badge system. There are 16 badges per attribute category. Eight in one tier, four in tier two, and four in tier three. Tier one badges are the least powerful for your player, but also cost the least amount of badge points. Costs go up as you climb the tiers and acquire the more impactful badges. The basic idea is that you'll need to equip a certain number of badges in the lower tiers before you can equip badges in the highest. So uh, Chase, you know what's crazy? I think you was talking about this. On 20. Yeah. Well, I had every every uh, badge was bronze, bro. It was hilarious. And, and you wanna know what's crazy? I'm I'm not bullshitting you. You know how you did your series on your channel, and you and you said that you can only have a certain amount of badges here, or a certain amount of badges here, because you was just doing that shit with Trey. Yeah. Don't this shit sound like it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, I'm, listen to it. Maybe. Listen to it. 16 badges per attribute category. 8 in tier 1, 4 in tier 2, and 4 in tier 3. This mm -hmm. is something similar to when you was telling Trey you can only have a certain amount of bronze badges, a certain amount of silver badges, a certain amount of gold, and I think you said one Hall of Fame badge? No, I didn't say one. What did you but say? I just thought, I just thought, like, and you know what it was? That whole, this whole conversation, that one, that sparked from um, the 21 with that 85 or 84 uh, <laughs> Power forward. I'm gonna be honest. That's the, that's the only reason that conversation even happened because that was ridiculous. He had 84 badges on the power forward. He had he had all the elite anime. It was that was that was disgusting. Actually, that's why. If any conversation like that happened, it was because of that shit. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, these are the badges, of course. Um, Agent three. Um, the ability to hit difficult three point shots off the dribble. So instead of uh, bringing back mismatch expert and some other badges they gave agent three something whereas though you know they already have a shoot off dribble badge they have a shoot off dribble badge that helps you from long range so now they have a badge that allows you to hit difficult three-point shots off the dribble as well I, I don't i don't know maybe they renamed it the one that that, that helps you shoot I, what, what was that one was it was it stop and pop or was it stop and pop badge? What is i still remember what it was for so wait, what are we asking? Um, the the one where it was like um, you know, be, being being able to hit better shots um off the dribble, or was that Chef? That was Chef. So they just renamed it. They took it out. They took yeah, they took out Chef and gave us Agent Three. Ain't that the same badge? No, because um, Chef was Chef was only for limitless range off the dribbles. Mm, so what was the one? So stop and pop was just off just regular stopping and shooting, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I don't think that was a regular shoot off the dribble. If I'm, but I may be mistaken. Hmm, I don't know. Midi magician. Oh man. Um. And, <laughs> uh. Oh, so midi magician worked for post. Oh, Vronchi, you are gonna love your post. It took out the uh, the hooks. Oh, it's though. gonna be amazing, bro. I can't wait. It's, I'm it's telling you, the hooks out the runch. I seen that. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a 99 fade. I'm gonna use any jump shot I want. <laughs> Uh, and reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued and when moving excessively prior to shooting. Oh, that's not everybody, new. Everybody's gonna have that badge. Claymore increases a spot up shooter's ability to knock down catch and shoot jumpers the longer they remain stationary prior to shooting. Oh man, bad idea. 
to all my park players that just sit in the corner. Throw that bit on Hall of Fame. That's, yeah. that's a bad idea. I mean, you know, it's corner specialist going. Uh, not from what I see. Not, not from what I see. Clay, Claymore, come back, kid. Um, improved ability to shoot perimeter jumpers when trailing in the game. What? Wait, what? That's not new. That's uh, <laughs> clutch shooter. No, clutch shooter is for when you're uh in the last final moments, like fourth quarter. The whole fourth quarter. Or if you're in the park, once the other team gets 11 or you get 11, it's, it kicks in. Oh, God. You didn't know that? No, but Clutch yeah. Shooter's still here, though. They don't say that they removed it. Yeah, that's true. So, Jesus. So, yeah. you mean to tell me you could be down 15, maybe 20 in a wreck, and everybody come back kid, just pop on? <laughs> it's, not, it's not going to be that crazy. There's going to be other badges that people will prefer to use instead. I'm so glad <laughs> they took your badge away. Lucky 7. Yo, 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 yeah, chill, excellent. chill, chill, yeah, chill, chill, we'll talk, we'll talk about that in a second, Trash but chill on bad. me, chill Trash. on me, it's a Trash lot that happened bad. to me today, okay, I'm hurting, shit, mm -hmm. uh, space creator, um, formerly a playmaking badge, it now boosts the ability to hit step back jumpers and hop shots, ooh, and it will cause more, um, def defenders to stumble, so, now space creator is that badge, this is going, this is going to be crazy. This badge right here is going to be on Hall of Fame. Everybody, I guarantee you, bro. If 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 the step back shots are as crazy as they were in twenty two, and when people had that takeover shit on, oh, this badge is going to be awesome. Um, limitless range and old favor returns making shooters more effective when they with any shot attempt from deep three point range. Thank you for saving us the points. They brought back limitless range, bro. So that's why they took out Chef, and that's why they took out limitless spot up. They just basically combine that badge in one. Um, now let's talk about Hot Zone Hunter. How do y'all feel about that? Hot Zone Hunter being re completely removed. Uh, I kind of like that. I don't have to grind for uh, for Hot Zones anymore. I'm mm -hmm. mad at it. The hot Zone should just activate. What you should need a badge for that, in my opinion. If you have Hot Zones, there's a reason that you have them. If you have Hot or Cold Zones on your player, they should just activate. I'm not saying. That ridiculous ass boost from twenty should pop in, but you know you shouldn't you shouldn't need a badge. So I'm I'm indifferent. I don't really care. Okay, lucky seven. The only reason I'm indifferent about it is because I found out about it way too late in twenty two. I didn't find out about it until about maybe March April. That was way too late. I should have been had that goddamn badge on. Is that? Shut up, man. Now, Miss Max expert, like you said, moved to playmaking. Um, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Set shooter. Nobody used that goddamn badge. It took too long to activate. It took way too long to activate it. But you know what's crazy? Why would you take out a badge name set set shooter and just rename it to Claymore? Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Like if it's a set shooter, you should just kept it like Claymore makes no sense. Or it does because you're sitting there. Yeah. And you're waiting. Yeah, but see, see but we don't know. Off. We don't. We don't know if it's if it's sitting in the same spot waiting for the ball or sitting in the same spot with the ball. Uh, I think but it's. The, I think it's just waiting for the ball, bro. Yeah, it's waiting for the ball. See, um, shoot jumpers. Bad. The longer they remain stationary prior to shooting, that's bad, man. See, he ain't gonna be able to help. It, yeah, because it's catch and shoot. It's catch and shoot. So the longer that they stand and still. In that same spot? Oh, prior to shooting. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Something well, like that. You know, that's that's like a takeover uh little perk that should automatically happen when PG get takeover. Like whatever that badge does is something that the, the playmaking badge should that should be a part of it instead of this. I don't I don't know about this, man. Um sniper's going, thank God. I don't trust him. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Might man. be another badge just like it. <laughs> All right, moving on to playmaking badges, man. Killer combos um, improves the def dribbler's effectiveness with size of dribble moves. Basically, a combination of last year's quick chain and tight handles. So oh. they were so scared of tight handles that they had to put it with another badge because they just know, like, yo, it ain't gonna be like last year, bro. Tight handles used to make. Though. Not, bro, I, I guarantee you they nerfed the fuck out of tight handles. They probably only keeping it around as killer combos simply because they knew tight handles was too crazy last year. 
Well, or this year. Because, bro, literally, anybody with tight handles on Hall of Fame, your dude would get jostled every play. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you had ankle braces on Gold or Hall of Fame, you was getting jostled. Them Jews was fucking you up. It wasn't for that long of a period of time, but it's just enough time for people to either speed boost out of it and go around you or slip behind the screen and shoot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, Clamp Breaker helps ball handlers win more one-on-one body bump confrontations. The counter to clamp. So again, 2K, if this is a basketball RPG, please let me know what my badge does versus another person's badge. If I got Hall of Fame Clamp Breaker and somebody has gold clamps, how much of an advantage am I getting in those 1v1 body bumps? I need to know the statistics. That's it. Vice grip. Whoa, that's that's what she said. Um, improves ball security immediately. Sorry, bro. Huh? Sorry, bro. Improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound, catch, or picking up the ball. Great badge for bigs. So what they're saying is vice grip is the new don't get ripped every time you touch the ball. Vice grip. You know, you know how how long y'all think vice grip going to last? Three seconds or four seconds? Mm, probably, probably three. And how 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 many seconds after that do you think people are still gonna be spamming you and you are gonna be in the animation? Uh, honestly, no, honestly, question. honestly, after three seconds, after three seconds, that's plenty. That three ball out of your hand. That ball is supposed <laughs> to be out of your hand by then. If you still got that ball in your hand after three seconds, what you got vice grip on for? <laughs> Yo ass, get the rebound and pass to your to your guard. Or hit the corner. You can do something. Man, you gotta do something. Get it out your hand though. <laughs> or put it back up. Do something with that mother. I call a timeout. <laughs> if, you, if you don't wreck and you can't get it out in three seconds, call a timeout. <laughs> All right. Mismatch expert, we already talked about that. How do y'all feel about bullet pass being removed and just moved into the attributes? I don't like it, 2K. Come on. Bring it back. Seriously? Yeah. But it saves us badge points. N- needless badge points. How do we know that? So this is how we know. Bullet passer is okay. gone. Pass speeds okay, are okay. tied to the pass accuracy rating. Must have for playmakers. So is your playmaking big coming back, Chase? No, because he's not. It's, he, he's been supremely nerfed. My, that dream is dead. And don't remind me of that shit. Hey, hey, Hall of Fame Bullet Hall of Fame quick first step on the center on, on 20. That was nuts. <laughs> All right. Um, downhill, finally, thank God. There's no reason downhill should have stayed in the game this long. This, not only does the badge not work, what's the point of having a, a 90 speed if you can't get down court and people just hawking you down? Yeah. Yo, they took out glue hands. How do y'all feel? Glue hands should never have been in, in the game. They've never been in the game, year. bro. They've Keep never glue been hands out of 2K forever. Seriously. The bro, professional uh, players, let them catch the ball. Come on with all that. It helped me, it helped me get my, 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 my hands ready. It was so random, though. If you want to get your hands ready, you can hold L2 before somebody passes you the ball. I mean, you could do that, but also you could just have Hall of Fame glue hands, and when they pass what, the ball, what, like, you automatically no, are ready and set for set shot Don't tell 25. nobody nothing else about this game when you out here suggesting Hall of Fame glue hands, man. I You're had done, to. Bro. This is You're the finished. cards we were given, Chase. You're finished. I'm bro. trying to get a Boston. I don't. I don't want to have one in a possible. I'm trying to clear the board, Chase. The you ain't never get talk. a Boston in the game. You ain't never Boston you nobody tripping. on the team. You tripping? You ain't never. I, you know how hard it is to Boston call, somebody. I will, call, I will call my wife right now. Call her. You yeah, telling me you work for the Boston or somebody? You tripping, boy. You got me. Boston is unreal. You, you, I, that, bro, how unlucky does the other team have to be to get Boston? Come on, man. Think, you think you think I'm not like that? Yeah, you're not like that because it has nothing to do with you. It's random. Like it, it, it's based off of the cards you get. We talking about? Yeah. Hey, Bay. Yes. How many Boston's we done ran up on these niggas? Repeat that. How many Boston's have we ran up on these niggas in spades? On what niggas? Any niggas? Several. All right. If we got eight, we going Boston? Yeah. What That's they a bullshit about? ass concept. And hey, you know what? Well, who talking about? Them niggas, because uh, Chase, I'm telling you Chase, right now, Chase, you got, he got us fucked up, baby. Bro, you got you 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 got eight books and you go blasting on us. You're getting set. Go ahead, let's get back to 2K. Yo, you bugging out, bro. Huh? We gotta go to Pittsburgh. 
We gotta go to Pittsburgh. No, we got free first line up his partner. Facts. Facts. Y'all play sandbags. Y'all play sandbags. I'm not playing. <laughs> hey, babe. He told me y'all play sandbags. If y'all don't play sandbags, I'm not playing. Sandbags. See. See. <laughs> play any way you want. Mm, oh damn! Oh, damn! We can play any way you want. Okay. We'll hey, babe, I'm gonna call you back. Let me get finished recording this video. Right, he got us fucked up. We went for the pause. Yes. Who? You must be. You must be oh, playing God. some bombs, yo. Oh God! He don't know how we give it up. <laughs> that's like that's like getting a royal flush. Are you serious, bro? Off the flow. Off the flow. Every book. <laughs> Just gotta let him know that your wife flipped tables. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>, <laughs> Alright, back to the video, bro. Yo, don't, Damn, Chase. Don't play with our Damn, name, what? bro. Damn, they, bro, they, they was on some every off shot type of timing on your ass. I ain't gonna lie. Man, it's 2v1. Hey, it, yo, if he calls his it. wife and she don't back him up, that's a different conversation and it'd be on YouTube. That would look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's establish that. You okay, call you know your person right. in and they'll back you up. It look crazy. Bro, I can call it, bro. I got... Sir, You're you playing bombs, bro. You want me to call somebody else? Nah, sorry. Come on, you bro. Should, bro. Oh, oh, all, right. Oh, all right. All right, defensive and rebounding, bro. 2K, I asked you nicely. Please separate defensive and rebounding, please. You separated shooting and playmaking. You separated finishing and shooting. Why does defensive rebounding always have to be together? I'm sorry. Mm. I might have might have went on a little tangent I shouldn't have right for balancing purposes. Um they removed the badge defensive leader. Um it used to be a great badge. Not so much so now. But I would say that the equivalent to defensive leader is just having a perk that allows you to get your team hot, maybe a plus five attribute, plus ten attribute when you get plus takeover. 10. Oh, oh, you didn't, oh, 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 you didn't know, Chase. The playmaking, no. the playmaking. See, you stopped playing 2K a long time ago. The playmaking take that gives your player teammates a plus five, double up. Yeah, but she said plus ten, plus five. I get it. Plus no, 10 is you're not hearing me, Chase. Double up. You get two takeover slots. You double oh, up. People the, double take. Yeah, I was running double mm. take. I had listen. I had Jubug shooting from the hash with his big. It was crazy. It was a movie. It was marvelous. I wish God you could have been there. But anchor, a crucial badge for the last line of defensive defense bigs, improves the ability to block and contest shots in the paint. So I'm gonna be running anchor. I'm gonna be running goddamn uh, intimidator. I'm gonna be running Hall of Fame chase. I'm gonna be running all these damn badges. Box out beast. Helps rebounders win box out battles on both offensive and defensive rebounding situations. So, what's happening with box out wall? Did they change the name or? It was never box out wall, was it? What was it called? What? It was just Hall of Fame box out, right? Uh, yes. It was just box out. All right. Workhorse, the Pat, the Pat Bev badge. He got his own badge, bro. They, they, they named it the Pat Bev badge. That boost your ability to hustle down 50-50 balls and play hard-nosed defense without getting tired. So did they take out tireless defender? Did they put hustler into it? Did they... Did, uh, like, what? The glove. Named after the legendary game, Gary Payton. Helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free from ball handlers. Chase, didn't you just go up against Gary Payton? Why we? Why you bring this up, man? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Why you bring this up? <laughs> I'm just. We, saying. What am I supposed to do when somebody got all 99s and, and 80 Hall of Fame badges on me? What you want me to do? Huh? <laughs> Play like a champion. All right, bro. Wow. <laughs> all right, my bad, bro. My bad, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Team takeover redesign. Takeovers are special abilities that you equip on your mob player that you can active. Oh, activate. I'm tripping. After building up your takeover meters, basically like getting hot in real life. While the primary and secondary takeovers remain the same, team takeover has been redesigned. 
In the last couple of versions, the player will activate team takeover the entire team, make everybody have to fill the primary, secondary, and team has a sequential order. The NBA 2K23 team takeover works as a cooperative team system with the entire team sharing a single meter. Each player on the team has an equal portion that they're responsible for filling up by performing well on the court and being good. Oh, once each player has filled up their portion on the meter, team taker automatically fires off for the entire team. The new design makes a lot more sense and does a better job representing in what it means to be hot as a team and to take over the game as a unit. That right there, I'm not going to lie. That's a fire concept. Mm. One, one person just can't do it. Oh, Finally. them corner sitter, them quarter sitters, they're going to be like, listen, bro, just let me touch the ball, bro. Bro, if you want to, just let me touch the ball. C minus. <laughs> you... <laughs> Niggas ain't never gonna get randoms. Oh, imagine running right with randoms. You ain't never touching team tape. You ain't never touching team tape. Believe that. Um, I feel for all you randoms out there, bruh. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's crazy what they just did to y'all. They just told y'all y'all ain't never getting team takeover another day in your life. Forget it. Sheesh. Uh, are we gonna talk about the AIs? Are we gonna no. talk? How hey yo, shout, shout out, shout out to Dazar. You feel me? Out the Zar. How long is this vid? <laughs> huh? How long is this video? I mean, bro? He, he split him up until five. No, bro, it's an hour. Bro, in the vid, bro. I what? In the... shit. Come on, bro. In the vid, bro. Bro, look all these improvements, bro. I don't believe it. Go ahead and scroll bro, down, the bro. Zar, the Zar is that guy, though, bro. Yes, yes. Bro, you want to join the community Discord? No. You don't want to read the closing remarks? Chase, can you buy me a game for my birthday? No. Please? Unfortunately, I'll also be out of town when the game comes out. Ain't that crazy? Can I come with you? No. <laughs> You're so mean. Yeah. Crazy how that worked out. Bro, you want to make me cry on YouTube, bro? Get off of YouTube and close the vid. Man, long ass video. Obnoxiously long ass video. This shit is ridiculous, man. Every time we do a video with you, we tell you about yourself, man. This is still going on. I just got back. I should yes, crazy. Bro. It's still going on, bro. This is a damn podcast. We, 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 we was in here potting, bro. Why you had us potting? That's what I like to do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be. You know the title of this video gonna be. It better be edited. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, the, better be a ten minute video. The it's NBA, the NBA two K twenty three podcast with the Cell Squad, bro. No podcast doesn't count. No man, you got you gotta hit that. You gotta hit the algo, man. Well, what I need to say? God need damn it, say, guys! Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video, and we'll we'll ho highlight y'all next time, bro. Hey, get chat, me out, man. Could you please get four thousand likes on this video? No, they're not going to get four thousand likes. Come on, man. Oh, Yo, five. So, oh my God, bro. Five, please. You probably go lie, Chase. You fucked up. What you mean? <laughs> Let the man feel like he gonna get that. What a four K, man. Man, hit four K likes on this video, man. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Chase, can you take us out, please? No. I'm tired, man. You know I'm sick, man. I, I, I need to lay I'll my ass down. I'll take us out. Okay. You ready? Fuck y'all. Oh my god. You better be our pod. You better be shaken. Rub with Jay Easy and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got away.